All right, these are almost done, but I don't have the pumps in them yet. So they're not ready for fish yet. We have gotta clean them up and then fill them up and put pumps in them. So we went ahead and bought some koi. Those will be goldfish in these up here. But we went ahead and bought some koi for the big rock pond in the back. So let's go back here and let them start acclimating and get them in the pond. And we estimated the gallons of the pond and didn't want to get too many, so we got five for right now. So let's go down here and let them, we're gonna put the bags in the pond and let them acclimate for about 30 minutes. And then we'll take them out of the bags and turn them loose and let them swim. Okay, the frogs are jumping in as we walk up. And there's a dam right here that you can walk across. And I wish all that green stuff didn't grow in there, but it does. So which one is that? Well, we have to bring them down here to the dam, I guess. Here, let me see them. Okay. All right, this one we didn't get a name yet. Yeah, so we'll get right near the pond and the water tends to flow this way. This big old frog just jumped in. So if we have to, we can pull them out with the net. Yeah. Let me see the next Hang one. Hang on, I want to take a picture of each one. You can see the natural spring up there comes from underground. Feed this okay. thing all the time. All right. Maggie. This was one of my favorites. He's a really bright, Stop, Maggie. bright gold, this is tank. yellowish. And he doesn't really have a name either. Now the lady in the in the store had named this one. No man. There were two of them brothers, Hank and Tank. I didn't really like Hank, so we got Tank. All right, Tank. Let's start getting used to the temperature. And this one's kind of black and white. I think they're camera shy. They don't like this little bag arrangement, obviously. Here's the and last one. The last one, we'll call him Tiger. He's orange and black and kind of a Clemson spirit. All right, Tiger, you get in there too. So we'll come back to these in about 30 minutes and turn them loose. And come out here every now and then and see if we can see them swimming around. See, a lot of this is clear up here. So what we'll do when we pour their food flakes in is we'll come up here where it's visible. Hopefully teach them to swim up here and get their food. And the uh, the spring is totally natural underground. Ever since I was a kid, it's been here. I remember playing up here when I was five, six, seven, eight years old. And the water just comes out of the ground up there. And it's really nice, cool. You can drink it. It's, it's really good water. You can 
see through it. It's clean up here. And uh, hopefully they don't go over the dam and get into here. You can see the dam right there. It's about two feet deep, I'd say. And we've cleaned this thing out a couple of times, but it just grows right back in it was neglected when we first bought the place and it was up level to the ground here a lot of snakes back here too and here's where it comes out and goes down to the creek down there poor old maggie she's 12 years old All right, let's give them a little while and turn them loose. So, pretty little pond. So while I was here, I found a bottle buried. Might be an old Sprite bottle. Give me a stick or something. Well, not that one. Get that thing dug up and see what it is. Alright, finally. All these sticks are rotten, so I had to get one off the tree, get a live one. Now that gold one that I like. He's getting antsy. He wants out pretty bad. Anytime you're down here, you got to keep your eyes out for snakes because they will show up on you. So let's see what this is. The Sprite or Mountain Dew. And what it is. Mountain Dew. That's an old Mountain Dew. Wash her off a little bit. Should have kept my stick. It's really pretty with the sun. Looks like moss in the bottom of it. I'm sure it's something in the moss family, but. I am not very knowledgeable on these kind of things. Just know I really like it. We're going to be better off up here at the water hose. But I can see enough TAI in there, mountain, to tell this is an old Mountain Dew bottle. That's back in the day before the twist tops. So that's probably 70s, I'd say, maybe 80s. I 
We got a date on the bottom of it. Let's clean it up. Green looks cool up next to my green 1974 Yamaha. I really like that thing. Out of all the big old Harleys I got, that little old Yamaha is one of my favorites. If we can make a date out of that, 12 fluid ounces. Right up there, 64 maybe. L64. I don't know if that means the date or what it means. But if it is. It might be here a long time. Construction began on this house on 63. We could wash it out a little better and dry it and see if we can tell. I'm not really into collecting bottles. I used to many years ago, but since it's that old and dug it up out of the yard here, might be kind of partial to it. Let's go down here and check our timer and see when we're ready to Turn these boys loose. Yeah, there's a creek way down there at the end. That's our other lot right there. It's not really buildable, so it's always kind of been with this house. A little path right there that goes down to that bottom lot. We used to play frisbee and football and stuff when we was kids down there. So, let's go check on them. I don't know if they're starting to settle down or not. Maybe a little bit. They're not settled. The yellow one's not. I told you, that one is the most upset. He's uppity. Tiger over here on the end. He's not too happy either. Tank's making a lot of disturbance. He's flipping and flopping every which way. Now this one here is kind of chilled out. But that yellow one is not happy. a few more minutes this algae is pretty but nasty at the same time it looks like that pond that Kentucky turtle man oh, yeah. swam right through it to look for turtles anybody hadn't watched him just type in Kentucky turtle man and just watch that guy. He swims through here and catches them big old snapping turtles. He's a crazy individual. Almost ready, guys. Y'all just take it easy. Well, who's going to hold the I, neck? I am. You're going to do the neck I'll and the... I'm talking on YouTube now. Alright. First one I'm going to take out of here is this yellow one. I'm going to name him James Bond or something. No, Golden Eye. Done the rubber bands a little here, I'll too take, good. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna go up here to the. Can you see him good? I tell you, he's like a brick of gold. All right. Get up here. Uh, 
Not, no, don't pour the water in that water. Alright. Now I know what I got. Come on that. And get rid of the water. Now he's too daggum jumpy. Go ahead. You see him down there? There he is. Can you see him? Yeah, kind of hard to. He's kind of slow. He's kind of Here, get bottom. those flakes right quick. Try to hurry. He's not going anywhere right yet, so we're going to drop some flakes and see if that'll. I'm just going to barely get a couple little flakes. See if that'll. Only one for the day. Don't put too much. See if that'll attract him up there. Get yeah, get another one. Maybe one of his buddies will help him swim around a little more. He's kind of holding still. Hank. Hank is next. No, that's not Hank. Oh, it's not? It's Tank. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Tank. Remember, we didn't get Hank. Hank was too rowdy. He would yank me, hank me, don't wake me up and thank me. So the one we like turned out to be Hank's brother. There he goes. And he's down there next to him. The other one is really sitting still. I'm going to you to him. Get us another one. And he's kind of hanging low. And they've lived in tanks their whole life, so they're not used to this great big, great big area they got. All right, who's next here? We hadn't named this one yet. He's the black and white one. Might ought to name him Spot, like a dog. Because he's got a lot of spots on him. I don't think there's anything wrong with giving you koi fish dog names. All right, Spot, we're gonna get you out of here, buddy. All right, come on out, swim out. There you go. They're all staying right here close. And they are not interested in those flakes. All right, get Tiger or whoever's, whoever's next over there. We've got two more to go. Maggie, get out of the way. Your breath is hot. Go on now. They are all hanging right here. Oh, they're starting to move a little. Dog. Get your breath is hot. Go on now. She ain't gonna go nowhere. Let's know what we're doing in her yard. Don't you eat them fish flakes. Get out that. Look. See? <laughs> the top is free on. We'll show it. Get off them. 
Don't She's you trying to get that. over Don't there too. Do it. <laughs> Quit. You're too old to go across that dam. Okay. Alright. Is this tiger? This is tiger. This is the Clemson fish. Okay, tiger. There you go, buddy. Dog, you're a pain. Spot don't like you, get out of here. <laughs> you don't need to help me. And you cannot drink the pond water, quit. There you go, Spot. So we got Tank, Tiger, Silver, Spot, and Golden Eye. Way at the bottom. Gold Finger, not Golden Eye. You're talking about the James Bond's Gold Finger. Well, well either There's one way. called Golden Eye, too. So well, they ain't got the big name today. All right, boys, we'll check on you later. You got a big place. Go do some exploring. Here, can you take that? I'm going to try to get a close up. There. Check on you later. Had a I don't know which one that is, whether that's silver or spot. No, it's not silver. It's one of the spots. Well, one of them is up there getting flakes. He was. I think they're gonna be all right. Tiger's kind of sitting still, ain't he? Yeah, he looks a little bit. He's moving a little bit and you mm -hmm. can't really see him. His fin's moving. 